surprise, medical bills are nothing new. Congress has taken some action to help. But there's one medical service that's not covered. Mimi Murphy has more in tonight's Consumer News. There is new legislation to protect patients from surprise medical bills. But as Consumer Reports explains, there's one notable exception that can still end up costing unsuspecting patients hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Last March, Consumer Reports writer Donna Rosado found herself in a serious health emergency. She had a fever and a cough, and after going to her local ER, was rushed to a larger hospital by ambulance. I had a cough that wouldn't go away and a fever that spiked to 103. So I went to the emergency room where I suddenly became unable to breathe. I was put on a ventilator for 10 days, and I spent a few weeks in an ICU where I slowly recovered from the flu and pneumonia. When Donna finally was allowed to go home, she was greeted with a pile of medical bills. It might be surprising to learn that the biggest bill she owed was for the ambulance ride, which was not covered by her insurance company. And she is not alone. A recent study found more than three out of four ground ambulance rides could result in an out-of-network bill. And those bills are likely not going away anytime soon. They are not part of new legislation called the No Surprises Act, aimed at eliminating surprise medical bills that can arise from out-of-network providers, often in emergencies. If we're protecting patients from surprise bills once they get to the emergency room, why not protect them from the surprise bill on the way to the emergency room? Ambulance providers and insurers often disagree on what is a fair rate for this essential life-saving service. Ambulance companies say they provide costly, labor-intensive services, and insurance reimbursements are too low for them to be in-network. That means patients like Donna are often left footing a hefty bill, but there are some ways to fight back. A few states like Ohio, New York, Colorado, and Maryland have passed laws against surprise medical bills that include restrictions on ground ambulances. Also, ask your insurer to review the claim. If it's still not covered, contact the ambulance company and ask if they can lower the charge or offer a payment plan. Talking to my insurer did the trick for me. A few weeks after I contacted my insurer and asked them to review the bill again, I got a notice that they paid the ambulance provider an additional $1,500 covering all but $283 of the original $3,000 bill. The No Surprises Act will go into effect next January, but there's still hope that Congress and the states will enact protections from surprise ambulance bills down the road. Eric, Hannah.